All right, folks. We do have fish. We have just added them uh, two days ago. We added 30 fish to this 85-gallon uh, tank, and they are just fingerlings slash fry. Some of them are fingerlings, and some of them are fry. There's some of them are about an inch and a half, inch long, and some of them are just tiny little things. We got them for 50 cents a piece from a local guy uh, that was only, uh, you know, maybe 10 miles away. He's got a huge um, aquaculture set up to raise tilapia. Uh, so he's a very nice guy and he sold us some fish food and some fish. So these little guys are uh, just a couple weeks old and I expect that they'll grow uh, rather, rather rapidly. We haven't lost any, as I said. We got 30 in there. That's a little bit high volume for this tank. But uh, 10 of them, or 11, somewhere around that, belong to uh, Leroy. Leroy Fudd. He's also got his own system, and his is not quite done cycling yet. So I am uh, guarding and keeping and feeding his fish in my system until his is ready and then we'll just transplant, uh, transport 10 of these fish into his system and I'll have 20 in mine and he'll have 10 in his. The um, strawberries, I did pull out the detritus of the dead strawberries. This one plant seems like it's going to keep going. Our little uh, lettuce plants that we planted just threw some seeds in there are doing okay. Just a couple of them have come up so far. We've got a bunch more growing uh, that are germinating in little little uh, egg carton things. Uh, the bell siphons are working well. The tomato and pepper plants are hanging in there and growing strong. I need to grow some more stuff in this uh, section, but we've got a lot of uh, uh, seedlings and plantlings that will be moving into these systems here pretty quick. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, the All of these um, these are like squash and zucchini and stuff like that. They're definitely flourishing. And uh, these, we got some melon stuff growing over here. We got some cantaloupe that is coming up from seed right there. Uh, our little sunshade is working very well. It uh, it really poured some rain for about 15 or 20 minutes today. It was just a what here in the Southwest Desert we call a gully washer, and it uh, came down pretty hard. But underneath here, it wasn't coming down hard. It kind of turned it into. Uh, it was softer, gentler. Some, you know, rainwater did get into the system, but not too much, and uh, it, it lessened the downpour somewhat. So the plants didn't really suffer any adverse effects, and that was kind of nice. But I'll, I'll probably need to uh, upgrade this canopy cover system in order to make it a little bit more weather uh, protective. So. We're keeping this tank separate and full of water to let the um, chlorine and stuff gas off of it so that we can use it to top up our tanks whenever the you know condensation sucks it out of the uh, out of the tank and into the sky. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Everything's doing nice. The fish uh, are healthy and happy, eating those little tiny fish pellets ravenously and I expect they'll grow pretty quick so we'll give you an update next week to see how things are going everything seems to be working good flood and drain cycle on each of these grow beds is about uh, it takes about five to seven minutes to fill them up and then it you know, takes 15 to 20 seconds or maybe 30 seconds to drain out so it's a pretty it's a fairly fast cycle I can slow down the input to the tanks the grow beds and uh, but that gives me a little bit of problem with my bell siphons not working as well as they could but uh, I'm, I'm still tinkering I may even uh, upgrade the design of the bell siphons later uh, to something that uh, I saw from the Afnan, a guy named Afnan, A-F-F-N-A-N. -F -F He's got a channel on YouTube and also a blog called Afnan's Aquaponics. He's got some pretty cool ideas about um, 
how to make cool, uh, well-functioning bell siphons that I may upgrade uh, mine to his style later on. But these work pretty good for now. I can reduce the uh, flow and you know work it out, but this flow rate is actually pretty good. It's not coming in too fast. But these are fairly small pots, uh, grow beds that are only 14 gallons each. So they fill up in 5, maybe 10 minutes at the most. Usually 5 to 7 minutes. And then they drain out rather quickly. So they're cycling fairly quick. But the plants certainly don't seem to mind. They seem to be having a good time. Not a problem. So uh, let me, I'll take you over here and show you some of the seedlings that we're working on. Here's some more of our little seedling trays that need to be transplanted. This is, in these two right here, this is stuff that we already have in the aquaponics system and we don't want to kind of overload it with too much of the same thing so we might just transplant these into this area or some other small area or maybe a bucket or something uh, these are new this is uh, lettuce that's coming up really nice and bunchy so we'll be transplanting that into the uh, grow beds pretty soon and then uh, in here she planted some onions they're little tiny shoots that are coming up for those onions and then over here she planted carrots and there are tons and tons of carrot sprouts coming up all over this thing here so there will be lots of carrots in there we'll probably have to thin that out we did put in a little grapevine it uh, didn't seem to suffer any transplant shock. Got some nice. Uh, it has nice uh, green, waxy leaves. Seems to be doing really well. Now that came with some uh, grapes already attached, so I don't know if those things will die off or plump up. We'll see. That'll be kind of cool. Uh, and then we have our aloe vera plants are doing great. They're just exploding. And then in here we have, uh, this is a bean, a bean of some kind, I don't remember what kind of bean that was. And then you can see all these little sprouts that are coming up in here, those are also carrots. So, it's a good start to our little, our first farming adventure. We've got some dried bread, I've been feeding just a little bit of bread crumbs to those little tiny tilapia fingerlings, they seem to eat that too. But uh, so far, so good. Things are growing at the Epstein household. So we'll give you an update uh, again next week. See how things are doing. Rock on.